Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well, second video of the day, so don't expect me to go live this evening, also in this video, no editing, because I want to take something from my chest, explain you a situation of something that is happening, so no edit, no live, but we will need to talk about something that is happening, something that probably already happened, and something that I tell you the truth, I didn't want to happen. Deep inside of me, I didn't want to happen. I started to prepare myself, I started to convince myself, I thought that I already accepted it, but it's not true. Because when we are going there, it pains me, it hurts me. Of course, we are speaking about Matthias Sully. Before entering the detail and explaining you a bit this, 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 and other news, other decision that has been taken, other spoilers that we saw today in training session put a maximum of like if you didn't yet please continue to subscribe yes also by night also if you already did it on the video of this morning you can put another like well Matthias Sule I told you I didn't want why because it's a player that I'm following since his arrival at Juve the injury Covid period, then him growing under 17, under 19, next gen first team, that first season with Max Allegri, second season where he was a player that we could count on, that was an entire year on that bench in that 3-5-2 where we knew immediately that we would have some problems, but we saw some beautiful games with Sule, it's a player that I continue to follow, to study at Frosinone. And when we saw a change of coach, a probable change of formation, that 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3, 4-3-2-1, that was the moment where Matthias Soule, according to me, could have done that difference. Keeping his fantasy, his creativity, his offensive football, his magical left foot, on top of what he learned with Allegri, because don't forget about that, the will of sacrificing, the understanding of going back, tracking back to support the team. Something that he learned with Max, that he showed as well at Frosinone, becoming more and more a mature person that was absolutely worth playing in Serie A. Well, things that we will probably not see. And that's, I tell you, unfortunate, because if I was the one that could decide, I would have kept Matthias Soule. Then, of course, you need to understand what you want to do next. We told it, huh? sacrifices would be needed and some would be okay, some, unfortunately, would break our heart. Matthias Soule is breaking my heart. How did it start this morning with the huge, big, immense fake news that this morning already, in the video of this morning, we already broke, we already said it is a fake news, we don't believe in that one, the one of Corriere dello Sport that said, big, eh? big, on the front page, imagine, face-to-face -face tensions in home Juve between Giuntoli and, and uh, Mattias Sule, because if he didn't accept one of the big offers from UK, if Roma, with a deadline, was unable to increase their offer, he would have gone back to next-gen, panic, controversy, people going crazy, anti-Juve, but also some Juventini, they start already, are we blackmailing a kid? What is Juve doing? How is it even possible that you start with doing like things like that? Guys, or you didn't watch the video of this morning, or you were fooled by journalists that are not doing their work correctly. Why? Because you just need to take the rules. The rules are really clear. A player that played at least 50 games in Serie A, he can't go back. He can't go back with the next gen, with the next gen of Juve, with the ones of Milan or the ones of Atalanta. He can't go back. It's over. He can play in Serie C. Yes, in third division he can play. In second division he can play, but not in a next gen team. That's impossible because you already played 50 games in Serie A. So it was already something that was impossible, especially moments of tension, etc., etc. The kid is a. Uh, playing darts, we saw him even if it happened a few days ago, but today the video went on Celine Depth channel, quite funny video by the way, go and watch it, I will give you a bit more details tomorrow in the video, uh, and that's one, then we saw him also posting some pictures of Juventus, today he was training, was smiling, tension, no, of course, there was a discussion with Thiago Motta, with the staff, with Juntoli, about his future, understanding what he needed to do, and it's true that in the recent hours, things started to accelerate for Mathieu Soule. Now I don't know yet what is the real offer because every single journalist they go with their own narrative of the situation. Di Marzo is saying 26 plus 4. This is what Roma reached for Mathieu Soule. While Juventus they are continuing to say no, 
we want 30 million euro guaranteed. Mattia Sule is one step away from Rama, from Daniele Longo. They think the deal will be worth between 32 and 33, all included. And then you have uh, Fabrizio Romano that is really going in detail with 26 million euro fixed fee, 20 million add-ons, no, sorry, 2 million add-ons easy to reach, 2 million difficult to reach, 10% on the future resale. Extremely detailed by Fabrizio Romano. The other ones are still a bit vague. Pedula spoke about it. Also him is going towards the 26 plus 4. I don't know what it is today. I know that the initial request of Juve was 40 million, of course, knowing that at 40 you would not probably not sell him, but 35 you are happy. We are far. That means that Juventus, they decreased a bit more. Will we go towards 30, 32? Will we go towards 28 plus? I don't know, guys. Today, I can't tell you because everyone is giving us another narrative, another explanation, other details. It's a pity. It's a pity because this time, because the player had an agreement with the club, in a way, we were obliged to. But that's what we are trying to do with Coke Miners. 60 million euro of Atalanta request, and we are trying to lower that request. So... Roma is playing the game that Juventus is playing with Atalanta. So we can't blame Roma to try. We can't blame Juventus to try. Then it's the first one that will decrease. One thing is sure, Juventus apparently with bonus, they don't go under 30. And probably that's the money that they had in mind. The value to say, okay, we sell Mattia Sule. Will we have regrets? Today we don't know. Today we don't know. Sule could have reached his peak at Frosinone. No regrets. Sule can become a 100 million euro player. Regrets. On the other side, I think that when we will speak about Sule in the future, we always need to take into consideration the situation that we are in today. And what is the situation? Financially, we are not rich at the moment. We still need to be sustainable. We still need to fix problems that we had in the past. Mistakes, our own mistakes. And also, don't forget, Champions League disqualification ban, minus 10 points, etc., etc., that we are still carrying 2026 2027 that's the year where Juventus wants to be break even financially and until then we will not do whatever we want and unfortunately if we have triple a objectives some sacrifices will be needed and that's important when we will in the future look back at the situation flop or regret always thinking about that then we know it Henri became a fam famous superstar Coman, with injuries, became a famous superstar. Caldara, not. And I remember a few seasons ago when it was impossible to play football without Caldara. I remember other names, La Rovella. It was impossible last year to play without Rovella. Football without Rovella was impossible. Look at the season that he had at Lazio. And if you don't believe me, ask to, do, to Lotito eh, what he believes about Rovella with an obligation to buy after two years of loan. Pay attention. Then, tomorrow, Ravella can become the, f the biggest player of the world. But what we saw from Caldara, from Ravella, you never know. So let's see. Let's see. I'm really curious about uh, that situation. But guys, now it's really time to say goodbye. And I insist on what I always told you. I don't, unfortunately, yeah, but I don't see him playing that game. That game with... Juventus against Nürnberg. Unfortunately, because I would have loved to see him on the field with Thiago Motta, but it is what it is. What else did we see? Eh, about that training session. Colpo Gobbo was there, Romeo Agresti, Giovanni Albanese. There were a lot of journeys that were there, a lot of fans as well. We didn't see any tactics. We didn't see any tactics. Thiago Motta is keeping everything top secret. He, do not, he doesn't want to spoil anything. He doesn't want. We can see Colina screaming. We can see a bit of passes. We can see Il Torrero there where they are playing with the ball. We can see a lot of the Rondo. You can see a lot of things, but you cannot see the tactics at the moment. So today we can't answer you what I was really hoping to tell you before the game of Nuremberg. We don't know. We really don't know. On the other side, we saw something that we already spoke about this morning. Prime. Prime that will be a partner of Juve, according to the rumors of this morning, but also kind of spoiled with these two
two big things where you had the drinks inside. Uh, I don't believe it was a prime. I think it was water. I don't know. But anyway, there was uh, the prime boxes, two big prime boxes, which is actually telling, yes, it will be a part of you. Then people that are complaining, oh, hey, prime, some people are happy. We see the money. The other people are happy because they see the trendy, the hype thing. Other people are complaining because it's not a good drink. It's not healthy, some people are saying. Now I will tell you guys, I'm used to ads for cigarettes. I'm used on the shirts, bet click from Juventus. I am not playing betting. I'm not betting. I'm not betting because it's also written minus 18 years. It's not a load. Like the drink of prime. If you go and make a really fast research, it's written. It's not recommended for people under 18. Then I believe it's also the role of the parents to explain, to educate their own kids. Not always the sponsor that are going to link with a brand. I have seen worse sponsors in my life. I have no problem with that, especially because it will not even be on the on the shirt. It will be a partner because Juventus is looking for opportunities to continue to grow the brand. And I have absolutely, personally, I have absolutely no problem with that. Do I like KSI? Do I like uh, Paul Logan? I don't know them really much. The first impression I have from them, no, not that much. But anyway... It's a drink, it's a partner of Juve, why not? I have personally no problem with that. And that was the thing. What is the rest of the week? Focusing now on Dean Huysen. Dean Huysen, Dean Huysen, Dean Huysen. He needs also at a certain moment to take a decision. Will it be Stuttgart? Will it be Bournemouth? Will it be Marseille? Will it be another club? But he needs to decide and that's what Juventus will work on already this week. Why? Because this week we really want to go for Todibo already this week, and next week we want to increase that offer for Cove Manners. And don't forget, if we are able to go for Cove Manners and Toribo, it's also partially because of the good work that has been done by Juve in the past for the next gen. Some players, they will play in first team, like an Adzic, like a Yildiz, some players will not. It is what it is, guys. Other things for next week, Chiesa is a priority. Chiesa is a huge priority from next week to deal with. Super important. A lot of rumors today as well that Juventus wants to offer him a contract extension for less than his earning. Not sure if he will say yes because he was already refusing a contract extension that was not at the level of uh, Dusan Vlaovic. A lot of things. And then we will take care of the rest. Western McKenney, Chesney, Milik, De Chilio, Kostic. All things that will need to be sold next week. Next week, the week after. Because don't forget... It's true that the Mercato will end on the 38th of August, 31, 31st sorry, of August. But our first game against Como is on the 19th, is in three and a half weeks from now. Three full weeks and four days from now on that we play against Como. I'm not saying that the team needs to be totally complete, but more than we have at the moment because we are absolutely not complete at the moment. We are missing a Todibo. We are missing a Cope Miners. And then we are missing some offensive wingers because if you sell Sule, like it's happening now, if you sold the situation of Federico Chiesa in a way or in another, you still need offensive wingers. You probably also need a Vice Vlaovic. So there is a lot of work to do. And if I was quite relaxed one week ago and I'm still... Still a bit relaxed this week. Next week we need to accelerate. Otherwise we will have some problems. Thank you for watching. Maximo Fly. Grazie Forza. You fat.